Okay, let's talk about like terms. And this is going to be a little mini lesson on like terms. And as this says here, this is basic algebra, stuff that you absolutely need to know uh, before you really start progressing in trying to learn algebra. Okay, oftentimes too many students, they'll start to, you know, get right into trying to solve equations and doing advanced stuff. But really with anything, you know, you got to make sure you have a strong foundation. So we're going to clear up any confusion, hopefully, that you might have on like terms. We're going to define what a term is, and then we're going to define uh, when terms are like and what that means. Okay, what's the implication of it? We'll tackle these little um, kind of uh, problems or these examples here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and I have an excellent math help program that uh, hopefully you may want to check out. I'm going to leave a link uh, to my math help program in the description of this video. But basically, I do all things mathematics uh, from middle school, high school, and college level. So if you uh, are needing some assistant, assistance in uh, passing your course or you're struggling, um, you know, in algebra, geometry, pre-calculus, whatever the case is, I could definitely help you out. If you are taking an exam that has math on it, so examples would be GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, GRE, uh, CLEP exam, a teacher certification exam, you get the picture. There's so many exams out there, and oftentimes there is a math section on these exams. I can help you prepare and pass these exams. Of course, just go to my uh, website, check out my full course catalog. If you uh, homeschool, I can definitely help you out. I have a great homeschool learning program for mathematics. And then obviously, okay, and hopefully you have great math notes. And if you do not have great math notes, you're doing yourself a gigantic disservice. All right, I've been teaching mathematics for decades. This is the key to success is to having outstanding notes and studying from those notes. But uh, if your notes are not, you know, where they need to be, don't panic. You can use my notes. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video as well. All right, so let's get into like terms. And here we have uh, what we call terms, okay? So these are some examples of some terms in algebra. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and more specifically define uh, terms, okay? We can't really talk about what like term terms are until we know what a term is, okay? So in algebra, we use this word term to describe things like this, okay? So these are some examples of some terms. Now, what are some the parts, the components of a uh, some uh, of a term. Okay, so let's take a look at this first one here. So we have a number, all right, like four, in front of some variable par variable uh, part right here. Okay, so this number we call a coefficient. All right, that's called a coefficient. That's what that's referred to, and it's in front of some variable or variable combination. Okay, so this is the term four y squared. Now, uh, your variable part of this term, okay, can be all sorts of things. Let's take a look at some other examples here. So here, uh, negative three is the coefficient, okay, of this particular term. And then the variable part of the term is M and N, okay? And by the way, if, um, let me just mention that this four Y squared means four times Y squared. This negative three M N, this is negative three times M, times n, okay? So again, in algebra, you have a coefficient, which refers to the number in front of the variable part. Let's take a look at this one right here. You can see six, y, okay? Six is the coefficient. And then we have the variable uh, part uh, y, okay? And then over here, we have 10. That is, of course, the coefficient. And then the variable part is y squared, okay? There's the variable part. There's the variable part, and here is the variable part. All right, so that's basically what a term is. It's not that uh, difficult to understand. Let's go and erase all this stuff here now. So if you're ever, you know, wondering, hey, what is a term? You know, I'm sure you hear that, you know, I've heard of that, uh, terms, like terms, but now you know. Okay, so again, a lot of this stuff doesn't have to be complicated. But let's talk now about like terms. Okay, what are like terms? Well, we're kind of implying that some terms are like and some terms are not. Well, like terms are those terms that have the exact same variable part, okay? Like exactly the same, 
Okay, now let's go ahead and really make this very clear. So uh, out of all these terms, I got one, two, three, four. Do any of these terms have the exact same variable part? So that's a question I'm asking you, and you'd say, oh, of course, Mr. Mathman, uh, this one and this one, okay? And that's very, very good. And if you did state that, then I must go ahead and give you a happy face. Nice job, very good, and you're definitely paying attention to this little micro lesson on like terms. Okay, so um, now I'm saying, ourselves, well, like terms have the same variable parts, so am I concluding that 4y squared and 10y squared are like terms? Yes, indeed. Okay, these are like terms. All right, these are like terms. Okay, now I'm going to talk about what we do with like terms here in a second, but let's just make sure we don't confuse something here. Now, a lot of students will be like, oh, 4y squared, they'll think, oh, this has a y and this has a y. So they will mistakenly think that these right here are like terms. Okay or these two right here are like terms, or all three of these are like terms. So that's not the case, okay? A like term, you have to have the exact same variable, okay? In this case, it's y with the exact same power, okay? So if this has a particular power, y squared, this is y squared. This is y to the first, not y squared. So this is this uh, 6y is not a like term with these other terms, okay? So it's gotta be precisely, exactly, the same uh, variable part. You're not concerned with the number part, okay, the coefficient part. That's not what determines like terms, it's the variable part. Okay, so these guys right here are like terms. So what do we do with like terms? Well, what you're gonna do is you're going to combine like terms. You're gonna combine them, and that's really the main idea here, is combining like terms, okay? What does that mean? It means that we're gonna add the coefficients. So let's go ahead and just do this real quick. So 4y squared plus 10y squared, okay, I can add these because they are like. We already talked about why they're like. And uh, so if I have 4y squares over here and 10y squares over here, how many total y squares do I have? Well, you just add the coefficients. 4 and 10, I have 14y squared. That is the answer. Okay, and that's basically it, okay? When you have like terms, you um, want to combine them, okay? It's like you don't want to have, if I had like the number 7, I don't write 7 like 4 plus 3, okay? I don't walk around with 4 plus 3. I combine these, right? And we write it this way. Same thing here. Like we have 4y squared plus 10y. We need to like, you know, combine these into just one 14y squared term. All right, so in algebra, when you see like terms, you definitely want to combine them. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, quick examples, and maybe you want to pause the video and combine any like terms if you see any. Okay, I'm not saying there are, but if there are some like terms, add them up, okay? All right, so if you need a little more time, maybe you want to pause the video, but I'm going to go ahead and get into this uh, right now. So let's take our first one, 2x. So these are all terms, so I'm looking over. I'm looking through all my options here, and what am I looking for? Okay, you're you're looking for like you're like hmm, you're thinking I'm looking for stuff with an X in it. Okay, with an X, that's what I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and search through my little terms right here. This is X squared. That's not good. Okay, I need X right when I'm trying to associate. For this particular variable, let's highlight that x. Oh, my, oh, I got an x right here, but that's xy. This is not going to work because this is the variable part of this term. Remember, it's got to be exactly, exactly just x and only x. Okay, so I'm going through here. This is x cubed. That's not, that's as x cubed. This is x to the first. So that's not good. x squared, that's not good. xy. Mm. So guess what? This is it. There are no like terms, okay, for that one. All right, so let's move on to our second one, 5x squared. So what am I looking for? Anything with precisely and only an x squared in it. So I'm going through here. Do I see anything with the x squared? Well, this has x squared, but it has x squared y, so that's not going to make that like. Oh, look, I got one right over here. Finally, finally, we got some like terms. So 5x squared. This is x squared, or really 1x squared, so I can combine these into... 6x squared, 5x squared plus 1x squared, 6x squared. Okay, so if you got that right, excellent. 
and let's continue forward. Now, hopefully by now you kind of get the, uh, the big picture here and understand, but let's uh, move to our next example, 2XY. I'm looking for anything with an XY in it. I'm looking, looking, looking. Oh, I got an XY right here. So I can combine the coefficients. Now be careful here because the coefficients are 2 and negative 9. So 2, okay, 2XY. Uh, Let me write this a little better. If we were combining these terms this way, 2XY plus negative x, uh, uh, 2xy plus negative 9xy, I can simply just add the coefficients. Of course, you need to know positive and negative numbers, and that would be what? Negative 7xy when we combine those like terms, negative 7xy. All right, so uh, hopefully this is all starting to click here with you, and um, Again, this is a basic algebra skill, but if you didn't, you know, quite understand that, we're going to clear up those, you know, clear all that up right now. All right, let's move down to our last problems here. So we have 5x cubed. I'm looking for anything with x cubed. Nope, there's nothing in it. So there's nothing I can combine. And then obviously I have x squared y. There's nothing I can combine here. Now, there's all sorts of different problems and types of problems you need to, to know about like terms and combining like terms. And then you know, uh, where do we uh, use like terms? It's basically used everywhere, okay? When you're solving equations in algebra, basically you absolutely have to know this, okay? Again, it is a basic algebra concept and skill, but it's nothing beyond your ability to learn. And hopefully my little video here helped you out. And if that is the case, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced mathematics on my channel. Okay, I've been teaching for years, love to teach, going to be teaching as for as long as I possibly can because I'm passionate about help stu helping students, you know, really learn math. Okay, there's so many students that struggle in math uh, and they, you really don't need to be. Okay, if you're taking great math notes, working hard, what you need is to find someone you can that you know you enjoy learning from okay that their math instruction is comprehensive clear and that's my goal okay so if you like my teaching style hopefully you'll stick around watch my previous content but my best math help will be within my math help program okay so with that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures thank you for your time and have a great day